Hi everyone, Cheryl here. It's been a long time since I've done a video. I'm aware of that. November 2020. Um, oh gosh, I know a lot's happened, but it's getting motivation to take photos of finished projects and then do a video. And of course, normally these go towards charity and I give them to my friend. And of course, we've not seen each other because of lockdowns. Uh, but other things have happened. Um, March 2020, our recruitment for carer number two came to a screeching halt uh, because of lockdown. And then in November 2020, we, um, we lost our first carer. And when I say lost, I don't mean death, no nothing like that. So we started to recruit again recently. So like, we've been without a carer since November. And so my husband and I, as soon as it, the weather got dry, we start to take Christopher out for walks. We alternate. Um, so we get exercise and we can sing with him because he likes that. And he could dedicate our time. Because if I go out with my husband walking, I can't keep pace with him. And he expects me to. He thinks we're the same person. <laughs> he goes, well, I can walk this fast. I can't. We're different people. Um, and then we've been doing art in the afternoon since November and continued to do that with Christopher. And we've been recruiting recently or trying to recruit. We've been doing um, the advert and then... Zoom interviews. God, Zoom interviews. It's not easy. <laughs> anyway, my light is fading. I mean, out there. And I didn't want to depend on that light there or that light back there. So I'm doing this as quickly as I can. Ah! Now, um, I did a little vote um, a few months ago asking if anybody would like to see my colouring. So I thought, I think I'll bring that into it. Now, I know this is from last year, but I did, I did like it. Um, the book was... Bennett Klein colour my spe sketchbook for and this was the thing I coloured in there I thought it was going to be easy I was mistaken um, so I did a monochromatic theme so it was all in different shades of pink and it was because October was breast cancer awareness month and I saw that on a website somewhere on Facebook in a colouring site and I just decided to do that go along with it although it took a lot longer to finish so that was November, sorry, October. Now we're back into January. So I can show you two things for January. Let me check my list. My list is here. Oh, the box there. Where's my list gone? There it is. Okay. List. So now we're at January. And I, I last November, when I did the video, I alluded to having... I'm sure it was in November or the video before that alluded to me making a puff stitch scarf. So I made this puff puff stitch scarf. That's a mouthful. <laughs> Crochet. I saw just a video on YouTube and I thought, oh, I like the look of that. And I watched the video, downloaded the pattern and picked the yarn out of the box and that was that. What yarn did he use? I think he used King Call Drifter. And this is DK weight yarn. So that's how it turned out. It turned out really lovely. And the Puff Stitch Scarf, if you go on YouTube, Puff Stitch Scarf, Hooked by Robin, that's the channel. And I will include the link. And that was that. Really enjoyed doing that. So that'll be, I'll donate that to charity. I can't think of anybody to give that to. So, so some things will go to charity and some things will go to recipients. Also in January, colouring. Um, oh, where is it? Let me make sure I get the picture first. Is it the first image? Yes, it was. Okay, this is the book, Flowers and Gems by... I can't even see what you see. Oh, I want to split the screen. Flowers and Gems by Grazia Salvo. Right, there we go. Flowers and Gems by Grazia Salvo. She's a good artist. She's very distinctive, though. All her characters, they have long necks. So that that's her... Um, signature if you like you know some artists have a signature and you know it's them i'm just altering the screen so they can share the screen right so that's the book and i pull it in oh by the way that bennett klein was with black widow pencils okay and is this there we go so i did the skin with holbeins i don't think the holbeins are good on this paper that's just my opinion. Uh, I'm trying to do different pencils on different papers so I can find the best pencil for which paper and use that to dedicate to that paper. I did the rest of it, the hair and the flowers and the eyes and the lips. 
I did that, I'm pretty sure I did it with Castle Arts. And the background, I did it with my Karen Dash Neo colour too. So it was a bit of a, almost, yeah, like water effect. That's why the page is all wrinkly like that. So I enjoyed doing that, that was fun. These are nice images and what's good is that the grayscale, because you give me a, a line drawing and I am going to want to put things, but give me something like that and I'm all right. I've, I've got a bit of guidance. Right, what's next? Okay, in February I started to eye up. Oh, I couldn't help it. I started to eye up a little baby doll. Now I know I've got one, but over time I was thinking, this doesn't look real. It doesn't look real. I want a, I want a real looking one. And so I gave that one to my mum, the other one, and I got another one. And I decided to knit a couple of baby hats. These will be going for charity, of course. So this is a mock baby hat in eyelet mock cable rib. I'm pretty sure that's the pattern I used, and I will link it, because it doesn't actually have a name of the person. I've got a link, it was from a blog, but the thing is, I don't even know whether that's the pattern I used, or whether it's one of the other two, I will link, just in case it was one of them. I can't remember. <laughs> that's terrible, isn't it? So that's that done. Oh, it's so cute, and I will insert a picture as well, because she looks absolutely gorgeous with it on. She's not anatomically correct, it's just that she was dressed as a girl. Okay, so that was like toward the end of February going into March. And in March, I did two Babbity baby jackets. Which one's which? Oh, one is the first size and one's the second size. So, and that's by Mariana Lazy Daisy Days. There's the second one. Uh, because the first one didn't actually fit my baby doll. <laughs> and I wanted to model her. I wanted it to model it. Um, the baby jacket so I knitted the next size up but you know it will f these jackets will fit a baby somewhere in the world so that's absolutely fine <laughs> what's next um, I'm sorry about this I'm looking at my, my list I should have had it in front of me it would have been better wouldn't it oh one of them teleprompters <sighs> where are we March oh yeah we're still in March and then the most latest colouring Fragile World, Kirby Rosanne's. The first one I saw his books, I was always intimidated by what was inside. But when you look at it, really, it gives you an awful lot of help. Anyway, I did the Lima Frogs. And I used Derwent Cold Soft for that. Where are you? There you are. I really enjoyed doing that. And this book is absolutely fabulous. There's absolutely loads of gorgeous images in there. That's just one example. I mean, there are loads of flick throughs on YouTube if you if you go there. What made me eventually decide to buy a Kirby Rosanne's book, and this isn't the first one I've got. I have got Worlds Within Worlds, and I've also got Mythomorphia. I haven't called him them yet. Oh, sorry, I haven't called him Mythomorphia, but I have called it in Worlds Within Worlds. I haven't finished the boot, but I've done most of it. Um, it's Even though I was intimidated by it, when I was like, I can't do it with that. Whenever I've seen people's colourings of it, they always look fabulous. So it's, it, his work just, oh, it's amazing. And the one I'm currently working on is called Cherry Lady by Marioni Budek. And I've only just started that. The most recent thing I've finished is a pair of socks. Now, these are hybrid socks. I'm using Sockmatician's pattern again, so I will link that. But, of course, I'm using up old sock yarn, uh, namely this and this with just plain yarn here and here and here and i know that goes doesn't it even though the two different yarns it just flows nicely yeah so even though i've got plenty of sock yarn i just wanted to use up all the scraggly ends and you're like well, what am i gonna do with that well that's what i'm doing with that and my husband likes the idea so that's absolutely fine you can have them um the final thing I'm going to show you, it's a work in progress and I've been doing it since January. And it's another mitre square blanket. And I, I remember doing one this time last year, and that's going to be for charity. But this one, I haven't decided whether I'm going to have a plan for it. It may not be for charity, but then again it may, we'll just see. Anyway, this yarn, I got this years ago from Biology in Bridgewater, which I don't think exists anymore. Well, it didn't exist where I was, where it was located then. Then it closed down and moved somewhere else. But now I think it may have closed down permanently. I don't know. 
Anyway, I got this yarn, but I didn't really think of anything going together. And then I tried to make crochet um, illusion cape blanket. I was getting mixed up with the, because it was like basically diamonds. I was getting mixed up with the increases and decreases. And I, I thought I knew I had to use stitch markers, which I did. And then it was just, oh, this is awful. What I didn't like about it was when you joined the squares, you could see the other colours through it and it just didn't go. So anyway, I decided to do the mitre square blanket and this time I used the crochet cast on. Now, I, I put two links in the video description for the crochet cast on. The first one is what I'd been doing originally, but then I'd spotted a second one and I thought, oh, that's a different way of doing it, but it looks pretty much the same except the yarn, you don't put the yarn between the needle and the hook. I thought, well, that's better anyway. It seems to have the same effect. It seems all right. So rather than doing a knitted cast on for any of these squares to, to start off with at the start of a column, I'll just use crochet cast on. And also, you know, when you, at the beginning, when you do, I mean, the whole thing was a crochet cast on to begin with. And then when you do up one column and then you pick up, pick up stitches you don't pick up stitches you create stitches I don't do a knitted cast on again I do a crochet cast on deliberately so I've got a lovely neat V edge to work into whether it's crochet or knitting anyway this is what it looks like so far so I'm on to the third column so that's one where am I that uh, one is that with color then that and then this which is working on and it goes all the way down here like this now this is her this is gonna be hard please excuse all that noise from the knitting needle oh there we go and that's it they're the last two squares i have to use the computer to, to see where i am maybe i should have put that one there and that one there never mind and i've been working on this steadily since january and i've been really enjoying it and that's what i'm working currently um i've started work on a hat what's it called I can't remember what it's called but i've only just started it i've only just started the one one by one rib i know what it is it's a talk and it i'm sure is it in commits it's called a talk and it's got a cable stitch in it but i started it deliberately um because finally i'm going to knit a natural on thursday yay i mean how good's that i haven't seen them for ages it's been more than a year it was like a week before lockdown i thought i'm not taking any risk i'm not going so a week before lockdown, I just didn't go. And that was the last time I saw my friends. So it's been more than a year. I'm, oh God, I'm so looking forward to seeing them all again. That's all I've got to share with you for the moment. And yeah, the my first video of the year and it's May. I'm sorry about that. I know somebody's gonna go, you're back. Well, I haven't been anywhere. I just, mm. okay. Anyway, I'm gonna go up till next time. Hopefully next time I'll show you that blanket finish. That'll be good, wouldn't it? But no doubt I'll have knitted a hat. I did say I was knitting a hat. I've got, I'll have a hat to show you. What else will I have to show you? Um, oh, I've started work on a shawl. But I can't take that to knit and natter because I've made mistakes and I've been on my own. So I have to <laughs> definitely concentrate on my own. I'm not taking that to knit and natter. And no doubt I'll knit socks. I like knitting socks. All right, till next time. I have no idea when that will be, but I will hopefully make sure it's this year still. All right. Take care, everyone. Bye.